Next we have Cancer. So Cancer is a sign, which is a water sign, ruled by the moon. And Cancer is, when you think of Cancer, I always think of the crab Cancer because it's that, it looks like the crab walking around on the beach. It has a hard shell on the outside and the soft meat on the inside. And Cancers to the are not always very direct people. They're right to the side and they walk their way around. But it's a very, very sensitive sign. That rules, of course, the, um, the home, um, domesticity, the family. Um, also rules the stomach, the breasts, that's cancer. And cancers um, have to really, their major karmic lesson in love is overcoming insecurities and feelings that are not understood. That's how they're going to find love. Getting over their insecurities and feeling that they're not worthy of love. That's really what it's about. Um, when they're in love, they've got to be very careful that they don't smother their partner. Because they're so in love, they want to smother them. So it's like the crab. So you need to just um, not feel so insecure and just love yourself more than anybody else could. And I, they love to nurture. So they're going to nurture their, their love lovers. That's the way they will. They'll do that. Um, and they will draw to them um, very much an, an earth sign. Taurus be very good with them. And uh, Capricorns. Capricorns are very good with cancer usually. It's the opposite signs that attract. So that'd be good for them. Capricorn is... I think that earth and water are very good together, two elements. And I think fire and air are the two elements that are very good together. Because the fire needs the air to grow, and the air helps fire to grow. And the earth needs water to have nurture and nurture it. And we need the earth, uh, water needs earth to have to be part of this experience. So, so those two go together, those four of those go together. So cancer is, um, a life line with cancer, I, I just gotta say these things as I'm going through these because it pops in my head. So cancer in love also, it opens up a whole bag of stuff about their childhood. When I find cancers, they often go into a relationship and they come to the past a lot. They rely a lot on their past, their childhood, their family history, and they tend to rely on that a lot. So I want you to look at that. And I, I would like to you, for you to start off a, a relationship, cancer you're in a relationship, with something brand new, bring something brand new to the relationship. And remember, it's the present moment, it's not the past. A lot of cancerians like to live in the past, very, um, uh, uh, sentimentality, a lot of sentimentality there. Uh, so that's very good. So that's your, your lesson is to not smother and to meet them where they are and to um, understand the freedom, getting away your insecurities and feeling worthy of love.